Alright, in today's video, I'm about to introduce one of the best and totally free image and video generators. Now, we all know there are many image generators out there, right? But this one is different. Why? Because it can generate unlimited images for you. And not just random blurry pictures either. I'm talking about stunning, high-quality, super detailed creations that honestly make you wonder, wait, this is free? Yeah, exactly. So, you better stick around to see how I pulled this off. Because trust me, you'll want this tool in your pocket. Oh, and that's not all. I'm also going to introduce you to an OnlyFans alternative, where you can actually monetize your AI girl and make some serious money. The site is called FanView. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it, because, let's be real, it's one of the best platforms out there. If not, well, congratulations, today you've learned something new. Now, here's the cherry on top. I also have a document that's packed, like, really packed, with free image and video generators. And guess what? I keep updating it, so it just keeps getting better, like your favorite game with endless updates. To get this document, all you need to do is, one, like this video, two, subscribe to my channel, and three, comment below. I want the document. That's it. Easy as pie. Hmm, pie. All right, without any further ado, let's dive right in. First, we will open a new tab and go to ChatGPT. Then, we'll ask it to write a prompt for the type of AI model you want. Don't forget, you can also add any extra features you'd like her to have. Tall, short, wearing glasses, or even, always looks like she just had pizza. Totally up to you. Once that's ready, we'll ask ChatGPT to write two prompts for casual selfies. After that, when the selfie prompts are ready, we'll ask it to write two prompts for non-explicit but NSFW images. Now, obviously, we'll generate the non-explicit ones because YouTube has rules and, well, we don't want to get grounded by YouTube. But yes, you can totally generate explicit photos on your own, if that's your thing. Next, we'll ask ChatGPT to write two prompts for her in a dress. And of course, you can always add other little details, whether you want them explicit or not. When all of that is ready, we can start generating. And now, drumroll please, we have Grok AI. That's the next website. So, open a new tab in your browser, search for Grok AI, and click on the first link that pops up. Boom! You're in the website. Now go back to ChatGPT and copy the first prompt. Then, head back to Grok and paste it. But wait, we made a mistake. Don't forget to add the words generate this before any text. Very important. After that, Grok will ask us to sign in. I'll just sign in with Google to save time. Once that's done, click on continue. Now after signing in, you'll be inside the website. Head back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt again, and click send. Then Grok will ask you to confirm you are 18 or older. Go ahead and click that, and voila, the images start generating. Honestly, they popped up super quick, and wow, they look stunning. Let's download them all. Next, let's go back to ChatGPT and get the second prompt. Copy it, head back to Grok, paste it, and wait a little bit, and... Oh boy, the eye may. Just, just keep getting better. Let's download those too. Now back to ChatGPT again. Grab another prompt, paste it into Grok, wait a little, and... Okay, the image looks good, but not perfect. No big deal. Let's grab another prompt and try again. Click Generate, and, hmm, this time the website isn't giving us amazing results. Let's try again, and, nope, honestly barely any difference from the last one. So, what do we do? We go back to the original homepage and start all over again. This time, Grok generated an NSFW image, so that won't work for YouTube. But let's test another prompt that didn't work great before. And, wow, exactly what I was looking for. Let's download everything again. Now, let's grab yet another prompt from ChatGPT, paste it, and generate. Okay, maybe not breathtakingly beautiful, but still very nice. Download it anyway. Finally, let's copy the very last prompt, paste it into Grok, hit generate, and boom, the image is ready. Honestly, I think we can all agree this one is breathtakingly beautiful. Alright, that's it for this step. Now, let's move on to the next one. The second best free website I use is definitely Focus. And yes, I know, you've probably heard of it before, but hear me out, there are many other free websites you could try, but Focus is like that one kid in class who finishes their homework early and still has time to draw doodles in the margins. It's just super easy to use, very beginner-friendly, and still gives you top-quality results. With Focus, you can get high-quality images through Stable Diffusion, and it has built-in features that usually need to be added separately. For example, Prompt Enhancer so your prompt sounds less like a confused robot. Upscaler, so your images don't look like pixelated potatoes. In-painting and out-painting, fancy words for fixing or extending pictures. Negative prompt optimization, 
Translation. Making sure your AI doesn't give you six-fingered hands. Oh, and did I mention it's fast? The images load quickly and they look very human-like. So, let's dive into the how-to part. Buckle up, because here comes your step-by-step -step guide. Step 1. Getting into focus. 1. Open a new tab in your browser. 2. Search for NAS Works. Don't ask why it's called that, it just is. 3. Click on the first GitHub link that pops up. 4. Once you're there, click on Repositories to Mive. Now click on Focus Fixed Crashed. Don't worry about the scary name, it's fine, it won't crash your computer, I promise. 6. The page will reload. Scroll down until you see Open in Colab and click on it. Step 2. Running the notebook. 1. The Colab page will load and you should see a bunch of code that looks like it belongs in the matrix. Don't panic. 2. Find the little play button. Triangle symbol. Click on it. 3. When it asks you, click Run Anyway. Yes, we're rebels here. Chapter 4. Now, some code will start running. Just wait a few seconds or a couple of minutes. 5. A link with gradio.ly. V will appear. Click on that link. 6. Congratulations, you're now inside focus. Step 3. Setting up focus. 1. Once inside, turn on these options. Input image enhance advanced 2. Choose quality over speed, because who wants blurry images, right? 3. Click on styles, then search for hyperrealism. 4. Turn on art style, hyperrealism. Step 4. Using prompts. 1. Head over to ChatGPT and copy the AI prompt you want to use. 2. Go back to focus and paste it into the prompt box. 3. Click generate, DARP 4. Wait about 2 minutes. Two images will pop out like toast from a toaster. Now, let's say the first image appears. Hmm, I like how she looks. Let's see the second one. And then, bam, the second one also looks good. Great, download them both. Step 5. Trying more prompts. 1. Head back to ChatGPT. Copy your next prompt, maybe something like casual selfie. 2. Go back to focus. Paste it. Click generate.3. Wait a bit. The first image shows up. Nice E, she looks great. Download it. 4. Wait for the second one. That one also looks good. Download it. Keep repeating this with different prompts. Copy from chat GPT. Paste in, focus, generate. Wait patiently. Try not to stare at the screen too hard. It won't make it faster. Download the images you like. Step 6. The big realization. By now, after creating all these images, I'm guessing you're starting to think, hmm, maybe focus is actually kind of awesome. And yes, my friend, you are correct. All you need to do from here is repeat the process with whatever new prompts you want. And soon, you'll have a whole gallery of cool, realistic AI images that you can proudly show off, or just keep for yourself like secret treasure. And that's it. You've just completed your crash course on focus. Easy, right? Mage to video and the magic of Dejan. So, next, we will do Timage to video. So, anyway, we won't waste time there. Instead, we're going to use the best free image-to-video generator out there, which is called Dijin. And here's the good part. Dijin gives you free credits every single day. That means you can always come back tomorrow and play again. They also have options for lip-sync, text-to-video, and image-to-video. Oh, and they even have two different AI models for each option. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's get started. Step 1. Opening Dijin 1. Open a new tab in your browser. 2. Search for Daijin AI 3. Click on the link that looks official. Don't click on the weird ones that look suspicious, unless you enjoy chaos. 4. Boom. You're now on the website. Step 2. Locate the Create button. 1. On the right side of the screen, find the button that says Create 2. Click on it. 3. The page will reload and, ta-da, you're now in the main interface. Step 3. Uploading your first image. 1. Look at the left side of the screen. 2. Find the Upload button and click it. 3. Upload any image you want to use. Yes, even that random photo hiding in your Downloads folder. Step 4. Writing a prompt. 1. Go to the prompt box. 2. If you already know what you want, write your prompt there. 3. If you don't know what to write, just click on Prompt Enhance. Honestly, it always works for me. It's like the easy button of AI prompts. Step 5. Generating the video. 1. 
Scroll down and click on Generate Video Doctor 2. Now, be patient. Normally, it takes about 4 minutes for the video to generate. 3. But if your internet is slower than a turtle on vacation, it could take 11 to 12 minutes. Step 6. Multitasking while you wait. While waiting for your first video to finish, let's make another one. 1. Go back to the Upload Boo. Ton and upload a different image. 2. Write a simple prompt, or if you're feeling lazy, like me on a Monday morning, just hit Prompt Enhance again. Now, turn on Gen 2 under the Lip Motion section. 4. For sound, click on Speech. 5. Write the text you want your character to say. 6. Then, choose a voice. I personally go with Chen, because I love her voice. She sounds amazing. Scroll down a little and click on Generate Video. Step 7. Downloading the results. Son. Finally, the first video is ready. It looks good, so let's download it. 2. Now, after a little more waiting, the second video is also ready. And oops, it failed to open. I guess lip sync are not free anymore. And just like that, you've created not one awesome AI videos using Daijin. See? Easy. Fun. Free. And definitely better than the blurry toaster quality videos from before. Monetization with FanView. And next on the list, we have monetization. For this, we'll be using FanView. Now, we all know FanView is a great app for monetization and a strong alternative to OnlyFans. Yes, you heard that right. Think of it as OnlyFans' younger cousin who also wants to make money. So, let's get started. Step 1. Opening FanView 1. Open a new tab in your browser. Type FanView and hit Enter. Click on the first link that looks official. Don't click on the sketchy ones. You don't want a virus, trust me. 4. You'll now be on the FanView website. Yay! Step 2. Signing in. 1. To make things easier, click Continue with Google. 2. After signing in, you'll land on the homepage of FanView. Step 3. Becoming a creator. 1. On the homepage, click on Become a creator. 2. The page will reload and the layout will look a little different. 3. Scroll down a bit and click on Start Earning. Step 4. Filling in the details. Now, here's the part where FanView asks you some questions. Don't worry. It's not an exam. 1. Referral code. If you have one, put it in. If not, just click continue. Dot 2. Location. Write down where you live. No, not your exact house number, just your country. 3. AI or human. Click on AI generated, because that's what we're doing here. Content type. I'm going to choose fitness as my category. 5. Gender. Select whichever applies to you or your character. 6. Username. Display. Name. Write the names of your choice. Keep it simple, catchy, or funny. Up to you. Bio. Write a little description about yourself or your content. Then click Continue. 8. Fan pricing. Set how much your fans will pay. I'd recommend starting at $5. It's affordable and a good number to start growing your fan base. Step 5. Verification. After that, you'll be asked to verify your account. Just follow the in. Instructions. And once you're done, Congratulations, you're officially in. Step 6. Setting up your profile. 1. Click on your profile. 2. Here you can add a profile picture and a banner. Pro tip. If you don't have a good banner yet, don't stress. You can always add one later when you're more prepared. Once that's set, you can start posting right away. Step 7. Growing and earning. Now, here's the golden rule. The more you post and the more consistent you are, the more you will earn. Don't treat it like a hobby if you want results. Treat it like a business. So take this seriously, and before long, you'll be cashing out real money. And that's it. You now know how to set up your FanView creator account and start your monetization journey. If you watched this video to this very end, don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel.